I've been putting um, sand casting videos on at the end of my nightclubs. I'm going to do the same again because people are asking for these. Um, I get some old videos out and sort of re edit them and put them on. Um, so if you want to watch a little bit more of me sand casting when I was quite a bit younger, by all means go ahead and watch it. If you're anything like me, the chances are you sit and watch YouTube and you watch the people in India repairing things with no gear at all. I mean, they've got nothing, stick welders, worn out layers, and they do miracles. I saw one guy the other night and he was screw cutting in a lathe and he was using a tap to do the screw cutting with instead of a single point tool he was using the tap um, he had the tap set up obviously whatever pitch it was he had that set right and he was using the tap to cut the thread I want to give it a try and see if it actually does work as well as you should because what I want to do is cut some taper threads that's a BSP taper thread a taper thread and also to cut on a manual lathe like this because I haven't got a taper turn attachment but I thought and if I had the tap at an angle like that and I brought it in, it's going to cut a taper. It's going to do nothing else but cut a taper. Obviously in BSP, this is a 20 by 2.5 mil standard pitch tap. I'm going to use this just to prove the point that you can actually cut threads with a tap. So I'll turn that down to 20 mil first and go from there. Should be 20 mil. Indeed, it is. Put a little lead on it. Right. Right, I've got a whole other little tape at the top. Now I realise that that is actually the cutting edge of the top. And that's a trailing edge, we're going to be cutting on the trailing edge, but it certainly seemed to work for the Africans, so it should work for me. I've got it set up. It's just got a little bit of top rake on it. That's obviously set the centre height. This is just to prove a point before I even try cutting BSP tape off it. Then I'm going to set the tap up so it's square to the jaw because I don't want to cut a tape off here. Simply like that. They're all touching so it must be square to the jaw. I'm going to set the gearbox up to cut 2.5 thread and run the lathe nice and slow I need to use a thread indicator to make sure I start the job in the right place I'll just touch this off and that's promising up with a little chip there we'll set the cross side at zero and then put on 0.25 with a cut. I'm watching the thread indicator come around to a whole number. It certainly appears to be cutting the thread. Put some more feed on. Waiting 
for who wouldn't want to come round. It's not cutting very well because it's obviously on the, the back side of the tool, it's not designed to cut. The cutting edge is, is this part here. And if I run the lathe backwards, it's going to cut a left hand thread. I'm going to cut left hand threads. But we don't want a left hand thread, we want a right hand thread. And if I put the tool in behind there, and run the lathe backwards without advancing, would that cut the right hand tool? Right hand tool? The right hand thread even. There's only one way to find out I suppose. I'll, I'll set that up and then we'll come back to it. Right, so now we're going to have the lathe running backwards. I'll reverse the direction of the lead screw, so that should go into mesh like that. We'll touch it off. It should definitely cut better this way. I think I want to go down a little bit, I've got it on centre here, but it looks like it wants to go down. I'm going to turn the top just a little bit. Right, that looks better like that, and then lift it up onto the centre height. I want it cutting right on the edge. it off, it's wanting to cut, there you can see it, now you can set a zero, put some cut on again, so this time I've got to go towards me, when I get the end, <laughs> I'll have to make sure I turn the bastard out the right way and all, right there's half a mil, it's going to give us something to play with, right, oh yes, Yes, that's cutting threads. Put that left hand, the bastards. Right. No, they're not the left hand. So that means I'll have to cut from the inside out over, which is not really what I wanted to do at all. First, that feed screw is not of interest, and it's not what I want to do with this at all. That's no, not what I want to do. We've we'll pulled that and cut the thread, I might have to grind the BSP top so it will cut on the front edge. This is not what I wanted to do. It will, it will cut the right thread going that way. Obviously, it will, but it's going to be a right pain in the arse to try and start and stop. And I think I'll have a little bit think about it, and then possibly come back to it a little bit later on. 
and he put his curly ideas for cutting the tape or thread let us know that's the thread I want to cut but I think if I sharpened the, the top on that flute there and angled it, angled it like that when it come across the face of there it would cut obviously a tape or thread it would cut a tape or thread as I feed it in it's going to cut, it's going to cut a thread to that tape or all that tape or you set that to just before I do sort of sign off I remember I've got a set of these these are old fastened thread chasers that's 14 TPI which is what the BSP thread is I'm after so if I set that up at an angle like that and then bring that in obviously you'd run at the right ratio to cut the 14 TPI that will cut my tape or thread uh, these are designed for cleaning threads up but they will cut a thread you can use it as a, a foam tool that's really sharp so I think we'll have to set the gearbox up to cut the 14 thread to the inch and bring that in an angle and it's going to cut deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until I get the proper tape or thread or at least it it should work as a tape or thread that's the plug that's the, the right pitch you can see it's the right pitch obviously that's going to be in that way and I'm going to come into it like that and that is the angle that I need to go in at I do and see why that shouldn't work I do and see why it shouldn't work at all Ah, I see you, but it's actually... It's a bad night, right? Yeah. 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 
little flick at the end, just to flick it off the... Bigger than said, it's the original sweeping brush. It's had 11 eggs and 9 shafts, hasn't it? Once again, it's your time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes. Anyway, thanks for watching.